Well, the new Operation Mockingbird talking point is that Donald Trump stole classified nuclear secrets and stashed the documents in Mar-a-Lago. And that's why the FBI had to go and raid his home. The January 6th hearings, despite interrupting the regularly scheduled programming on the big television networks, did nothing to erode support for Donald Trump. Nobody cares about the hearings. In fact, People are tired of hearing about them, so now this is the new plot line is that he stole the nuclear secrets. It's an obvious sympathetic attempt to try to derail Donald Trump's potential re-election campaign in 2024, but also the media circus serves to distract much of the country from the Democrat agenda, which continues to operate behind the scenes. Them trying to normalize Boy Scout drag queens, institutionalize systemic anti-whiteism, and it gets people to stop focusing on the economy, which is a teetering house of cards. And since I watch the liberal media so that you don't have to, this is what's going on over there. Donald Trump took nuclear documents home with him to Florida, and it took an FBI court-ordered search of his home to get those documents back. Why the heck would the president say, I want to keep nuclear documents at a beach house? Classified documents relating to nuclear weapons were found among the items that FBI agents sought in a search of the former president, Donald Trump's Florida residence on Monday. The FBI was searching for classified nuclear documents at Mar-a-Lago. If Donald Trump kept in his basement or somewhere else illegally classified documents with nuclear secrets, and then pass those to potential enemies of the United States that could have been terrorists, hostile foreign governments. I'm just trying to think what would be the worst case if we're trying to think as Americans, what is our maximum exposure tonight? That's what it is. <laughs> he stole nuclear secrets to sell to an adversary, Russia, of course, which was literally the plot of probably half of the TV shows and movies back in the 1980s. Tactical nuclear weapons that somebody was planning to sell to, oh, some nasty people around the world. But the deep state may have gone too far, and some Democrats are now beginning to wonder whether or not this is going to embolden Trump and Trump supporters, galvanizing everyone behind the cause of rooting out the obvious corruption that now controls our government. Meanwhile, Joe Biden, the supposed president and most powerful man in the world, is having a hard time getting dressed. And if he's having this much difficulty putting on his jacket, you can imagine how hard it is for him to put the rest of his clothes on. By the way, save 20% off of any of my shirts from my online store, markdice.com, this weekend by using the promo code NUCLEAR at the checkout. So order a Trump Was Right shirt, an Ultra Mega shirt, a warning contains facts and opinions, some may find offensive shirt, or any of my awesome designs, all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below, enter the promo code NUCLEAR at the checkout to save 20% this weekend, and check them out. <laughs>